Um, so today's experiment, although successful, which is why you're getting to see the video, is um, it's a great brunch idea. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Off the Cuff Indian Cooking. Um, it's the show where I get to test my recipes, my Indian inspired recipes out for the very first time on camera. So today we're going to be making desi sausages. Desi means Indian. So it's Indian style sausages on pan toasted sourdough with butter. Um, and there's going to be wilted spinach on the sourdough. Then the sausages on top with all of those yummy spices. And then there's going to be an egg on top of that. So now this could be a poached egg, it could be fried egg, it could be um, scrambled egg. Um, I'm going to do it with fried eggs. So we've got one tomato sliced. I've got one large red onion sliced, 10 curry leaves, some garlic, so that's three large cloves of garlic, and I've got two green chilies sliced as well. So all of that's going to go into the um, sausages. Um, and then over here, I've got two lovely slices of sourdough. Um, I've got four large free range eggs, two small handfuls of baby spinach, I've got um, four sausages and I've got a knob of butter. So the sausages that we're using are all English sausages. Um, so they don't have too much of flavor in them already. So there's just a bit of black pepper and a bit of mace in that. So avoid using anything with caramelized onions um, or herbs because um, that's just going to clash with the Indian flavors. So um, black pepper, chili, uh, a bit of mace, nutmeg, all of that's great. The first thing that we're going to do is put the sausages in the oven because they're going to take a little bit to um, cook. So I've got my oven preheated at 200 and I'm going to pop the sausages in there for 30 minutes. So Alexa, time off for 30 minutes. So while the sausages are in the oven, what we're going to do is start making the masala that we're going to then put our sausages in. I'm just going to use a drizzle of vegetable oil, three cloves of garlic finely sliced. When they're starting to turn golden brown, go in with your curry leaves. And then your chopped chili. And then your sliced large red onion. And a sprinkle of salt. I've just turned the heat down slightly. Um, so that they don't burn. I'm just going to give them a good mix through and then I'm just going to leave them for a bit and then stirring ever so often. Cool, so when the onions are starting to soften and change um, colour, go in with your sliced tomatoes. There's one large tomato slice. Sprinkle of salt. And a grind of black pepper. If you want to go really spicy at this point, red chilli powder. I'm not doing it. <laughs> you don't want your tomatoes to entirely disintegrate. Um, but you don't want them to be um, a raw either. So just about breaking down. Right, that's perfect. Um, so I'm just going to switch that off for now. Sizzle, sizzle. Mmm, those look good. So what we're going to do is um, slice those sausages. They're going to be very hot. So just slicing them, they're all nice and done. Delicious. It's going to be very difficult to not pop one in my mouth as I'm slicing. So we're going to put our hob on again, on medium. Drop all your sausages in, all your sliced sausage. There. So I'm just going to mix all of that in and then let it warm through. And while the sausage and the masala is all cooking together, um, let's get our sourdough toast ready. A generous knob of butter onto your pan and let that melt. And then get your sourdough bread and then just kind of just let it absorb all of that butter. And there, just let it toast on that side while you butter the top. So nice. My butter's been sitting outside for a bit, so it's um, soft as well. Right, so while the sourdough is toasting, get a kettle on. We've got two small handfuls of spinach. I'm just gonna pour my boiling water on top, just to wilt them. 
Right, we're just gonna check that sourdough. Oh, nice. Right, flip that around and let it cook on the other side as well. Oh, lovely. Um, we're aiming for runny oak here. Season, salt, pepper. Okay, we're ready to plate up because that's almost done now. Okay, first we get our bread on, then the wilted spinach. Sausage masala, then your egg. That's a wobbly yolk right there. That looks gorgeous. And finally, some freshly chopped coriander on top of all of that. Is that yummy or what? If you like my recipes, uh, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on social media. So I'm on Instagram and Facebook at Traveling Tiki. And if you are cooking one of my recipes, I'd love to see them. Again, tag me at Traveling Tiki.